they'll also have uh, Mayor Lenny is a little under the weather, but he's working on that. Uh, the Red Cross volunteer has come out tonight. We have some sort of um, toxicity. Um. Okay, based on what's what's happened in the last two days, what's the most likely? Oh, it, it probably has salt toxicity. Hasn't been drinking. Yeah, because you remember now when you, and again, it's, it's difficult because you're getting lots of information, but this piece of property is pretty damaged and was part of the tidal surge. That's the reason why you couldn't, or the storm surge, that's the reason why you couldn't get in on day one. Okay. So this place is contaminated with uh, salt toxicity. Another, another down cow. Okay. So on my total count right now, we had 16 animals, four horses, and 12 cows. There's We euthanized one horse. There are four uh, cows that were dead on arrival, and we need to euthanize um, the cows, the one that's impaled, and then the two salt toxicity cows. Correct. We have a cat in front of us here. <laughs> if I can ask you to um, leave the close proximity right now, um, it's a bit of a a safety issue, uh, we can have you talk to our PIO officer back at base camp. Do you have a pet in here, or are you just looking around to see what we're doing? Well, I was I was looking for a pet, um, trying to find one, yes. Okay, well, all the pets we have, we put on Pet Finder with an ID number, and you can find them on there by description. All of them are either transferred to a shelter or a hospital if we think they were fit and stable enough to. And our patient administrator could help you locate your pet at a later time. He's right here to the left. Oh, he looks so, so bad. Is it going to look better eventually? Yes, ma'am. We'll put um, a bandage and some antibiotic ointment on there um, and give him some pain medicine so that he'll be comfortable. So oh, where is he going to go from here? Um, he's going to go to one of our satellite hospitals so they can continue monitoring his wound and administering pain medicine. This dog has his tail, wags his tail quickly, growling with his ears pinned back. We can request um, animal control to get these dogs to our tent uh, where we can... Medical care. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to be able to catch these dogs without uh, sedation, rabies pole, something. He's still alive, and we've asked for a human medical team to come. Um, shouldn't you try to roll him over or something instead of just leaving him face down? How can he breathe? He is still breathing, but we cannot get any closer safely with that dog there. So we need to wait for the animal control the, team. Sir, and that dog is very aggressive. Well, this Do gentleman knows the dogs. dog. This gentleman knows the dogs. Maybe he can help hold the dog while y'all check on the man. We can't just leave him like that. That would be negligent. It's not being negligent, ma'am. It's trying to keep everybody as safe as possible. Okay, so we have to put them in the chute to examine them. Yes. Okay. So what do you want to do with this cow? Uh, I mean, I think our options are to try antibiotics or to euthanize. The thing is, our options for euthanasia with us, according to the bag, are euthanasia, which one, it would take a lot, and we'd have to have a special team come out here to pick up the body and dispose of it properly. Or, or we have KCL. KCL. But, but for that to be humane, we then have to stun him somehow. And do we have any method to stun him? Right. One of the questions you all asked early on, which was a good question, was, is this place contaminated with salt water? Yes, sir. I think you'll find that this place was elevated enough that the likelihood of that is pretty remote. That would be something well, nice. you would have known coming in. Okay. okay. And they appear to have plenty of hay and grass and... Yeah, so I think unless they're critical, we should leave them here. Okay. I, I think your thinking's good, but that—that's the way you want.
us into perspective is, you know, who, who can stay where they are, who needs to go, who needs to be put to sleep, all those kinds of situations. Oh. Two goat is non-weight bearing on the right front leg and has an obviously displaced radial fracture. <laughs> We're not going to be able to treat that out here. So I see that right. being a euthanize and therefore needing a team to take the body. I'm I'm not the owner. I I'm just uh you know, I help these uh this family with their show animals. And uh, but I am tied in with the Animal Health Commission agency, and you know if we need to evacuate, I may be able to get get Animal Health to get a truck and trailer in here. Help me, please. <laughs> We're trying to get help here. Can you move over here to this truck with us? Don't y'all have anything <laughs> you can give me <laughs> to stop the burning? <laughs> give you but <laughs> gloves on if you can grab my hand I'll try and help you out let me see if I can stand up <laughs> since we can see his operations I would say okay. now that the field team is back we can do it in 10 minutes once yes. they're transferred I'll give you Okay, we'll go 10 to 15, and, and I'll just uh, wait patiently outside, okay? We're amazing doctors. <laughs> we euthanized a couple cows out in the field, but... Oh. And a well. goat. Oh! They were dying. Do y'all want to all go to the sites uh, out in the field so that everybody can see what people were dealing with? Sure. Right. I want to okay, so see the we'll exploded building from yesterday. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just start with site one and, and go to all seven sites. When we get to a particular site, if you were on the team that, that uh, was involved in dealing with that particular location, then just brief, uh, brief everybody on what you did, uh, what the problems were, uh, those sorts of things. And uh, that way we can all kind of learn from every location on it. Now, how do I counteract that? What do I do to mitigate it? And, and um, frankly, you, you, you outlined uh, a good plan of mitigation with regard to scribing here and get these guys out of here and separate it. And, and at the same time, realize you know, those are the things that are going to pull you from that. But the quicker you begin to assess where the distraction is and the quicker you just assess what you can do to mitigate it, uh, the better off you are, and, and, and so you, you get a high mark in that regard. So uh, that's pretty much how I wanted you to des describe what was happening there. Good job. Did a very nice job very nice worrying job. about the welfare implications of leaving this animal without knowing when it was going to be, um, be evacuated. What could you have done to buy yourself some time while you had it sedated? You're not on. Empty the bladder. How would you have done that with that? In, in the absence of a catheter, and you're not going to get a catheter all the way to the bladder anyway. Mission accomplished. Oops. Sorry. All the animals have been saved. <laughs>